Branding is a tricky thing to define. There are a mix of opinions, but essentially it's all about conveying who you are and what you do to other people in the most effective way possible. I often say that it's the perceptions, emotions, memories and experiences the Design Council calls these things associations, which is actually a much neater way of putting it, that people have with your business even when you're not there. A bit like the Marley of business, thinking about how you come across in the past, the present and in the future. And this isn't just visually. How your business looks is a big part of branding, but it's also down to things like your copy, the way you talk to people, the experience you provide. It's about curating how your business comes across to others at each possible moment. I'm Amy Purdy from White Acres and I help you to create a consistent, compelling and client attractive business image that will help the right people want to find out more about you, fall in love with you and then ultimately buy from you. Being aware of what branding is means that you can do something about all those aspects and do your best to ensure that people get what your business is all about and won't be confused or frustrated by inconsistent messaging. Aside from the points I've already made, why should you pay attention to branding? Experience is one of those, and I already mentioned this, but branding is all about experience, the way that your business makes people feel. Does the experience of buying from you, interacting on social media, being on your list, returning products, or scrolling through your website, make people feel good? If you know that your values, then you should use all of these opportunities to help people get a grasp on what your business is all about and ensure that the experiences that they have either as a buyer or not help them to get the right impression of you which brings me to impression people are judgmental we can't help it you've all done it haven't you when you're walking through the street you see someone and you go what are they wearing it's as though it's inbuilt and this works with everything people will judge your business cards they will judge your website they will judge your shop signage they will judge your social media graphics they will judge your leaflets they will judge your products they will judge absolutely everything about you and your business so they better be good the fact is that if your branding is consistent well done and clearly thought through then you'll look more professional and when you look more professional people trust you more and they see you as being really good at what you do but if your branding is hodgepodge and just not all that good then you'll be perceived as having less credibility so you need to consider how you can create the best impression on everything that you have and then there's intention it's not long since i spoke about intention i'm really passionate about this and being intentional is crucial to helping you with that good impression. If you set your intentions, knowing what you want, who you want to reach, and why you do what you do, then you will have much more success with your brand identity. I have a worksheet which you can use to help you get brand clarity, so there'll be a link to that somewhere around this video. And that'll really help you with that. And then there's being memorable. Branding helps you to stay front and centre in people's minds. And if they see a post from you, then they'll go, oh, that's such and such, without having to read your business name or even look at your picture on your profile picture. And they may or may not become as much of a household name as Google, but if you are consistent in your application, then you will be memorable. So use your brand colours every time. Use your fonts over and over. Make sure that your brand identity is recognisable as you on each piece that you create and people will recognise you. And then there's standing out. Branding helps you to stand out. Your visual image will leap out at people. But more than that, it's also about standing out from the competition. Showing what makes you different, what makes you better, what makes you the only possible option for them. Branding helps people to develop associations with your business, associations which you can be in control of. And then there is speed. You don't have very long time to make an impact. Say someone lands on your website, you have 10 probably a lot less seconds than that to make them stay and that's it so how are you going to convince people that it's worth hanging about are they going to have time to read about you or watch a video in that time no so you need to ensure that your website is enticing enough visually for them to hang around a bit and do those things so they can read that blog post or watch that video or check out the items in your shop but if they don't feel motivated to stick around then they're gone poof and whilst you can, of course, recapture them using Facebook ads, for example, if they didn't stick about the first time, who says they're going to be interested the second time around? So you need branding to help you set your intentions, to communicate them quickly, to create the right impression and experience, and to be memorable and stand out. So in other words, so that more people will notice you, like you, pay attention to you, and buy from you. So please comment below and let me know what it is that you need to work on. I certainly have some work to do too.